Hello everyone and welcome to another Car Exposed video. So today we have a Honda 2002 Honda FRV diesel, 2.2 diesel CDTI and we have an electrical problem with the indicator, so indicator to the left works fine, indicator to the right, nothing, absolutely nothing left, works fine right nothing so i spoke to the customer uh, to try to get some information about this problem she did have a fender bender on the left there um and i think i believe the problem started shortly after but uh, the problem is started she had it repaired and it was working and the, uh, the problem started where she could hear something clicking the relay clicking i believe but she wouldn't get any light so i don't know if it's going to be anything related to the accident on that corner but uh, it's the, obviously it's the right hand side indicator that's not working but there's something that i've i've noticed here oh, i can't get any communication with the body control module to do any any active test but there's one thing that i've noticed here so left one works fine right doesn't work but i always try to sort of let me just put this in window up so you can have a chance to hear what i'm talking about oh beep all right that's gonna finish very soon so I always try to sort of move the stalk to see if something happens, if it comes back, if, if basically if it's a problem, the stalk. And I've noticed, I believe I can hear the relay engaging. So if I do very slightly, you're going to hear the relay engaging, but it doesn't keep on like clicking. So let me do very slightly here. I hope you guys can hear. So I hope that comes through. I can definitely hear it, and it's not it's not the stock because when the ignition is not on, I don't I don't hear it. You see, there's no noise from from the relay. So I think it's, it's a pretty easy, simple system. But there is a control module, uh, body control module, in a way. So I think I'm just gonna get to that relay and see what's going on there could could very easily be just a, a relay issue um and i can swap them out just to test it uh i don't know but i think i'm gonna go straight down there i'm, I'm pretty confident the stalk is working and our issue is gonna be downstairs Right, so I believe it's going to be an internal relay in the body control module. 
Uh, there's a bunch, bunch of wires for this part of control board to come out. Oh dear. Right, two weeks later, I've got the part to fix the car, and there is a change. Let me show you. Indicator to the left, nothing. You can still hear the click. Indicator to the right, works perfectly. So, what's happening? I was trying to find out which relay control the indicator so you can see the front of the body control module there's a bunch of relay so just filling it to see which one was being commanded on and when you I should be able to show you here when you get to the back of the body control module there's a cable that's not going to come out all the way so this is the, the back of the but back of the body control module and there is a black box that I could feel relay being commanded on. So I saw two tabs, managed to remove it, which I'm gonna do next. Let me, can I, oh, there you go. So this box here, it's little module here, the back of body control module. By the way, this body control module is an absolutely joke. 13 connectors at the the front of it and at the back there's a bunch more I don't know how many connectors at the back blame me nightmare this one but anyway so we're gonna go ahead and remove this body control module now and then I'll show you um, what we did to get the, the right indicator working Alright, so here we have it. So I've got the board out, this little module. And obviously we have, seems to have a four, and I think it's correct. So you have one big relay for the, for, for the hazard lights. And then you have two smaller ones for left and right. And what I decided to do, I removed it and tested it. I tested the control side because I wasn't really sure where um, you know the load side of relay how it would work is obviously it's not it has two pins and, I, and I'll explain to you but I tested the, the control side and it was working so visual inspect the board no problem couldn't see any issues and I decided to swap them so swapping them it was a good decision because obviously eliminates any problem with the board and if the right hand side started working properly and then the left um, wasn't, we, we knew it was the relay. So that's exactly what happened. So I've got another two relays here. Very, very difficult to find, but I managed to find two online. I think it was from AliExpress or something like that. So basically they're gonna replace both relays Exactly the same one, G8N1FS. I'm gonna replace it and um, hopefully to fix this board, fix this problem. So these two pins here, the two middle ones are the control. And then you have the two at the back there, which is the, the loads. And I think you have the 12 volts coming to here. But, and the other funny thing was when I obviously swapped them, 
put it back in the car, both lights started working. And it worked for, I don't know, maybe 15 seconds, and then it stopped working again, the left, and it hasn't worked since. So there is definitely a problem with the relay here, so I'm gonna disorder it and replace with these two new ones. Right, we have a blockage. All right, let's try again, all sorted now. Try to move that now. Right, there we go, it's coming. Right, so that's removed. Right, two of the back is a bit. There we go. All right, two new relays. They're both the same, so it doesn't really, doesn't really make the position or nothing. And I think I'll put it back on the case here. It holds everything together. But I'm not gonna be able to. I'm just gonna bend this tab so it doesn't fall out. Ooh. Yeah, just gonna bend some of the tabs here so it doesn't fall out. It's not holding very well, so I'm just gonna sew the one, one leg, and then it should be, should be golden. Should that should hold now. Yeah, pretty good. Now we can do the other ones. Here's our final product. Two relays in place. So that looks quite good, nice and full, nice and shiny. Don't worry about that burning there on the connector. I did that with the hot gun or the hot air because I didn't have a disorder uh, tool. Uh, so, what well, I'm gonna remove the last time. Now, this connector here, you have a cable that connects to that, which is in the car, and then this plug, with those, let's say, three connections here, goes at the back of the body control module. So, let me put it back in place again. So, this goes first. 
going first on that. On the top, close it. Two tabs pushed in, yeah, all the way, yeah. Pushed in all the way, good. Right, let's put this back. And hopefully, fingers crossed, it should be working again. Fingers crossed, tighten that up properly. Right, that's all good. Let's try it. Fingers crossed. All right. I think we have connected everything up. All right. Right, right. All good. Then you really left. Excellent. I'm just gonna let it run for a while because we need to start the engine actually. As I remember, the last one I I run for about 15 minutes and then stopped working. That seems to be good, and I can see it's working outside as well. Let's try the hazard lights, all good. Well, I think we should be good in. Probably gonna let it run here for a while just in case. But left one working. Try the right one now. Excellent. All right, so it's gonna turn this off. Yeah, let me. I, I'm gonna let it run for a while. Let me open this door because I don't wanna. I don't wanna die here. And yeah, I'm just gonna run the car now for a bit. The right hand side is still going. Like I mentioned the last time, the last time. After 15 seconds stopped. And yeah, that's it. I'm just gonna run for a little bit longer. And then we we finish this video, but we don't have any fault for the for, for anything. Everything seems to be working. Yeah, the controls are uh, the controls are here for the windows and everything. Yeah. Yeah, good. I just got to adjust the clock. Okay, we'll come back in a bit. Okay, so I had the car running here for about 15 minutes indicating to the left, 15 minutes indicating to the right, another 15 minutes with the hazard lights on, and it hasn't failed once. It's working properly now. So I know the car is fixed. I'm pretty happy with it. I went ahead also, tested the relays again. And now this one is the one that is a fault, which I think it was I was quite lucky to be honest with you. The last time that I tested it, both of them were working, and you know, so I, I, my next move was swap them just to make sure it wasn't a circuit board uh, problem or a, you know a solder cold solder joint or something like that, and that it was quite vital uh, to find this problem because when I put it back in the car swap them put it back in the car it worked the left hand side obviously should be 
I thought if the relay was bad, worked for 15 seconds and then stopped. So that makes sense now why it worked. It was working on a bench. And I did ask the customer and the lady was, I think she was quite annoyed with this problem as you would expect. Uh, I asked her, you know, when the car was cold, you know, when you start the car in the morning, did it work at all? And she said, no, it never worked. You know, the relay, never, the, the indicator to the left never worked. So I don't know what happened. Anyway, but like I said, this problem came out, it started as she could hear the relay, she could hear the click, but the lights wouldn't come on. So very strange problem. Uh, this relay uh, discontinued, very, very difficult to find. And I, I looked on eBay, nothing, Amazon, nothing. So I just Googled it and I, I think I got for AliExpress. But uh, you can buy new modules on eBay for 150 quid. But I bought the relays for a, a couple relays for about 12 quid on AliExpress. So that's it. I'm sure that the customer will be happy. Car is fixed. Uh, if you wish uh, me to make a video uh, testing the relay, just I don't know if anyone will have the curiosity to, to see how it works. Pretty simple. But uh, it, it seems like quite interesting failure because it still clicks. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll can make a quick video about uh, testing the relay. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.